Hi guys, welcome to this video about communication issues or recommendations about how to place, where to place camera, communication module and so on, especially if you're having issues. This is for Blink, Blink XT, XT1, probably even XT2 because I haven't heard that there is any difference planned for the XT2 in communication. You can even use the old module uh, from the XT1. So um, yeah, I have had this or I have this camera or camera since about five months and I've made some experience with that and sometimes it was good, sometimes it was not so good. So the communication is not perfect, but it's not bad i mean they have the system with this communication module which you give gives you extended range uh, because you can place it uh, somewhere near the window and it so and for the rest of the uh, communication between the communication module and the wi-fi that's not the camera responsible so it extends the range of the camera So here you can see how I have placed now my camera and yeah, it's connected. Uh, I mean the power it gets from a wise cam. I think I still think it's a really good combination. The wise cam from inside and the Blink XT, XT1, XT2 outside uh on a tree or even yeah wherever you want that i mean these things are weatherproof and infrared so they are perfect from out uh, for outside and especially they are uh they don't need uh corded power wired power they are independent one or two years depending on your settings and yeah, the wise cams are nice for inside as long as you have power. And but you can com combine these two uh, two cameras because the wise cam has a power outlet. I mean a USB standard USB power outlet which you can use to power the Blink XT communication module, and it's absolutely reliable. The power, uh, which the wise cam provides is absolutely sufficient and the good thing is i was able to put this uh communication module on a window and what i used is this museum putty uh, i will put down the link for everything here into the description so if you want to order something uh, you can order that uh, yeah you can use the link and order it right from Amazon it's about five dollars and it's really useful to put it on a window and uh, to remove it later on without having to worry about that you damage the window or something like that and it's pretty stable there at the window no problem at all and it really gives you extended range so of course you can put it directly on top of the wise cam as well i've done this especially with the i mean this is the wise cam which doesn't move it's not ro rotating uh it's a uh, it's yeah i mean you have to turn it into a specific direction and it stays there so there is also the other one hope you can do that yeah so here we are at the next picture that's the uh wise cam the 360 wise cam it's a little bit taller larger but uh, unfortunately i haven't made a picture of that but it has also the usb power out outlet in the back and the good thing is uh, when this camera rotates 360 degrees uh, the power outlet moves uh, with the uh, yeah with the camera actually and if you put the communication module of the Blink XT on top of this camera, I had it for some time, then it moves, everything moves in the same way. So you don't have to worry that cable is unplugged or stretched or broken or something like that. And as you can see, it's uh, also, of course, 
not hidden by the frame of the window it's in in the middle of the uh, window where you have the best communication uh, abilities so I highly recommend to use it either like this or maybe on top of the uh, wise cam that's a really good thing so where I have I put my cameras outside so here you have a picture from of these two cameras one is pointing to the side one is po pointing to the back the thing is that actually one camera has uh, visibility to the communication module and the other has not and what I have been expecting is that the one with direct visibility with the communication module would have much better communication level better communication and the other one in the back I was really worried so that's the one you see on the left on the right side that's the one uh, really hidden by the tree and I thought yeah it with the tree I mean it's a quite a massive uh, palm tree and I thought it will block communication to this camera I was hesitating to put the camera there but I thought yeah it's not so much work I just try it and it worked pretty well so you can see that here that's the one camera I mean here uh, you see the windows in the back where the communication module is you can see there's more or less nothing in between except the pool cage but I think it doesn't block the communication too much so I wasn't worried about the communication to this camera but this one as you can see it's totally in the back of the tree and I was totally worried about communication but it seems there's absolutely no issue with that so hopefully I can show you that so here's the one camera I mean that's the uh, it I have named it old that's the one which ha is supposed to have the good communication which has a, a direct visibility to the communication module we click on here and go down and it says of course yeah good uh, communication it has uh, three uh, it is on a level three which is really good I mean for that distance it's about I would say 20 or 25 yards away from the communication module but it does not always have such good signal strengths at least it does not show all the time such good signal strengths it's it's the best which I have ever seen I think for this camera let's go to the other one which is a little bit blocked by the tree so we go to this one and as you can see it even shows actually uh, better signal strengths but I, I'm still struggling with these two uh, things uh, one says camera to Wi-Fi because there's actually no Wi-Fi to uh, no camera to Wi-Fi there's only camera to communication module and communication module to Wi-Fi so I don't know what it actually actually means here but at least it's not worse than the other one and I have checked it now about three or four times and usually the sensor or I mean the communication signal strengths from the camera in the back of the tree was usually better than with the camera on the side so don't be worried about if you want to place a camera in the back of a tree uh, so it looks like a tree doesn't block the communication too much uh, that's a good thing what you have to make sure of course you have to make sure that uh, you use good batteries uh, I mean lithium batteries are recommended uh, I have been using alkaline batteries and with good temperature I mean uh, yeah it was around 70 80 degrees Fahrenheit uh, there was absolutely no problem with alkaline batteries it did as good as with the lithium batteries the problem with the alkaline batteries are only when you have very low temperatures like let's say you have snow freezing temperatures or so then the battery power goes extremely down with the alkaline batteries or when it's extremely hot if you're in desert direct sun but I would definitely recommend to avoid as much uh, direct sun as possible because when the camera gets too much heat it can really overheat 
and then go into standby or whatever it's just uh, not possible to process signals or whatsoever usually I, what I heard that the camera comes back but uh, I mean over time it could really hurt or damage the camera for sure so as you have seen the uh, signal strengths uh, detailed signal strengths per camera is uh, here if you want to check really the signal strengths from the communication module to the Wi-Fi you have to click on this icon on the le uh, bottom left side so here on the top you can see uh, it shows sync module is online and uh, yeah connection to Wi-Fi is excellent so nothing to worry about that so I would say the maximum distance is probably around 25 yards if you have direct uh, visibility and if you're using uh, the communication module directly inside of a window if you can place it outside of a window of course you would have even uh, uh, more like larger range of course uh, I'm pretty sure that the window will block somehow the signal especially if you have like a coated window uh, which is helps a little bit against uh, Sun uh, protects from overheating inside this probably will uh, like uh, block the signal for sure I don't know how much I haven't placed the sensor or the uh, communication module outside but this is something you can do I mean the signal uh, the communication module outside doesn't have to be placed in a good uh, spot which has great visibility I mean it's not a camera it's just a communication module and if you can place it outside and still has somehow uh, visibility to the cameras I think that would be even better but I don't know how well they are protected against uh, humidity so I cannot really recommend that but as a last resort if you are struggling with communication maybe if you want to place it outside 30 or 40 yards away from the communication module that's probably the only way to do that yeah so that's it for now regarding all my uh, recommendations and problems and everything what I have been experiencing so far and yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or you have your own yeah experience or problems just write to the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time